Catch our one here quick. People want to share up the life. Share up the life. Share up the life. Share up the life. Tell them to say, be all the man living at a place here yeah, now. <laughs> Starboy Cloud, when the live had done, you shot me, eh? Yeah? When the live had done, you shot me, Cloud. When you share the live, share the live. Remember, enough people I know say, so I have to do live. Then ban me on the next page till the 13th of February or something like that. It's about Sunday or something. Alright. We have two burning issues in our, the diaspora. You know, the Jamaican culture. In the Jamaican space, we have two burning issues. One of the issues is Lady Sarah, and one of the issues is Nzinga. Which one of them I know my address? Lady Sarah is our dancehall artist female dancer artist in my view is the best we have ever seen and Nzinga a little Rasta girl we allegedly said them cut off her ear while she in a lock up see so which one of them you know what we talk about which one of them you know what reason for Who know the people you know and tell me who know how we talk about. Hold on the people. Wanna say go on now? Wanna what wanna say? Wanna Wanna say? Wanna say? Wanna say? <laughs> I deal of food and tweet something. Yeah. One is in a one hour talk about. Go and share the live. We're talking about either Lady Sa or Nzinga, the girl who get her ear cut. Zin, give me one. Let me not tell you no whole line, that's why the video pause. Can we go up on one call? Come the people, man, and talk to me, no man. And an IG freeze a while ago. And me come off and go up on a car. Share the live. Type one who want me to talk about. I talk about Lady Sir. And we're going to talk about the girl who get her ear cut off. So I'm make up on the mind. One out of the two. Simply care and all go on. Like when you're not listening, you know. we're going to talk about either Lady Saw or the girl who get her ear cut off. Choose one. Alright. 
couple of people say Rasta girl. Restaurant girl or Rasta girl. They put restaurant girl. <laughs> Talk about the girl with her ear cut, boss. Alright. That's a real issue. That's the girl. Ear cut off here. Alright. Alright, so more people are say the girl with her ear cut off. First things first. I was not there. I don't know who's lying from who's telling the truth right but I am here sitting down and watching the happenings of the DPP from a day the director of public prosecutions and I am wondering if the DPP has been infiltrated by money are people of power. The DPP is supposed to be a rescue for people when they uh, get justice from the court system the right way, right? That's so why I named Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP. <sighs> I see it a play away like something going with this DPP. Um, one time she did more stern and made it more convincing and believing in her. You understand? Right now, it look like, to me, this is just my opinion, there must be a fuck. Coming on about the ticket set. They're going to sue me. This is my opinion. It's not a fuck. We have got reasons, see? And we have got to try make it make sense. Now, I watched a DPP for my interview a while ago. And she's explaining why the police officer don't get charged for the girl here we get caught. One, she's saying in the girl opening statement, she has said she go in a one car, basically like to elude the police or terrorize her. She said one of the girl's school friend give her statement, say she had passed, and see the girl stand up outside. That has no relevance to the girl getting her ear cut off inside our jail cell. That not have nothing at all to do with the ear we cut off. Now, obviously, she had to be outside standing up before she end up in the car for them drag her out. She never building a car or making a car. So, her school friend saying she saw her outside does not mean that she was not pepper sprayed in the car. Obviously, she did have to outside her car before she get into the car. And she says she run going to her car to elude the police them. What, what about that now? Make, make the girl guilty. Next thing, the DPP said, we just have come through what she said. She said, the girl gave contradicting statements. Listening a bit and pay attention. One of when I hear me, when I hear me, cash and most wanted. Very good. The DPP claims are that the statements are not consistent. First thing you have to take into consideration, this girl is our first arrest, right? Is our first situation dealing with police like this. She get pepper spray, she get lock up, she get rough up, wicked, 
Zeal. So we are dealing with trauma. We are dealing with nervousness. We are dealing with inexperience of dealing with police. Remember, say, she now deal with police on a level like she and the police have a normal conversation. Basically, she and the police, them are war, both verbally and physically. Even not trained criminal. Even not hardened criminal. When dealing with the police, gets nervous. Even a hardened criminal, we go through that process a million times, gets nervous. We're dealing with a young girl entering the situation for the first time and look like she have anger issues, look like she have a little kind of mental little bit of issue. So we have to take all of them things into consideration. So the reason why I can say that is to say this. All right. The, what the DPP outline as inconsistency with the statement is that at one point the girl said the police cut off some her ear, right? Then she come back and said the police woman cut it from the root, right? So the difference is she said the woman cut off part of her ear, then she come back and say the woman cut it from the root. So that's the inconsistency of what the DPP is talking about. Let's speak about the consistencies. The consistency is this girl has maintained from beginning to end that the police woman cut her ear. So make we talk about that. The inconsistency is she saying the woman cut it from the root and she cut it from pathway the the that are the inconsistency you know the consistency says the police woman cut her ear in none of the statement Enzinger never said the woman never cut her ear one ever not get to me I say people wanna reason with me I don't mean, want it to look like I'm alone and reason when you talk to me the basis of what the DPP has said are inconsistency with statement we now pay attention to the one consistent thing the girl has never denied that the police cut her ear so whether it cut from the root or it cut from piece piece her ear get cut so how can you not charge the police for that if there's a consistency in the, 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 the victim statement say her ear cut she traumatized she get beat up come in no police they're not gonna tell you everything if them reach to a point where them have to tear gas the little girl there that mean them did that deal with her wicked she traumatized see been in a situation like that for the first time. Even big people, me, sometimes police turn on their light for pull me over. Me start trembling in my seat already. Me start search myself. All of me know me not nothing. Me I search myself. We traumatize. No. Anytime a police charge you, you're there station. One police come in, take a statement from you. Them wait four or five hours. No food. No drinks. AC a freeze you. All them left you in one room at like fire, you yeah, sweat. Them are threatening you tell you, say, I got a prison and bag or something. One next police come after how much hours, what are hungry, nothing for eat. You're in the whole long, you're not talk to your mother, your father, nobody, you're, not, you're out connected with the world and come back and ask your statement again. So under your traumatization, under your hungry, under your beat up where you get, under your tear gas where you get, some elements of the statement might not be the same as the first statement but you have to look at what is consistent to all statements what is consistent is this girl is adamant that the police woman cut her ear that's my thing you know 
one thing that is consistent, whether I look a girl half mad, whether she have Down syndrome, whether she trauma, one thing she cannot forget, say the police woman cut her ear. Me not care if it cut from the root, from the edge, from the stem, from the middle. The point in question is that the police woman cut her ear. How the DPP reach a point for say no charges are laid on the police woman in this case, me not understand. The victim is repeatedly insisting that the police woman cut her ear. Now, if, if it's the police word against Inzinga. Now, I think this case should go to trial. First thing, if we do not have a camera in I sell them, we do not an attack, you know. The DPP said in the, in the thing when I watch a while ago, said them give statements, said them go in the cell, go see the ear upon the ground. Baseball, oh, Enzinga ear steer when me see. To me, pop out ear can't do that. Pop out ear, no, have no steady trend. Yeah, pop. first thing, Enzinga has been wearing locks from she born. For she pop out all her locks them. So, you know what kind of damage that it do to her scalp when she appears pop out them ear root there you know how much little sore sore that in her head and little bleeding bleeding for pop out one full head a lax one one with her hand but that's why people have sense you know because all the way the dpp are explaining in another video there you don't explain to me how it explains Include the narrative of the police woman cutting her hair. Are the only way that you could have tell me, say, you're not a charger. If you have evidence, mounting evidence beyond a reasonable doubt, say this police woman never put her hand in the girl ear. You don't have that. The part where I tell you about her friend says she see her outside of the taxi stand up, irrelevant. That now have nothing to do with the cutting of the ear. The tear gas and all of that now have nothing to do with the cutting of the ear. The questioning and is did this police woman put her hand in her little picnic head any at all? Uno don't have no proof that she never do that. And this also goes to show that our justice system is not properly equipped. Because we don't have no video. We don't have no body cam from the police. We don't have no camera in the cell. Them. Even if Enzinga cut her ear herself, where did she get the instrument to do it? But alright, if she say her next girl not herself, I say Enzinga pop out her ear herself. As what me I say, based upon how me see the ear look when the ear when Enzinga lacks gone. That is not pop out to me, that is not pop out ear. Cause pop out ear, your ear root them I got damage. No matter how you drag it and our puppy talk good, your ear root them I got damage. There is going to be bleeding. Your ear root are going to pull out of some part. You are going to have sore in your head. You understand what I say? So, the forensic and all of them are talking about can prove. No matter what ballistic they are talking about. Ballistic can prove if the police cut it or Enzinga cut it. So, we are still at a crossroad of a no decision. So, it needs to go trial. It needs to go trial. Because ballistic or whatever can't tell you if it pop out or if it cut, but can't tell you who do it.
You understand what I mean, say? And one full head of ear with locks, indi individual locks like that. You pop them out, so a big problem. We wouldn't even have to ask if a she pop them out. Would have see the impression that she pop them out. It would have leave an impression on her scalp. And the ear root cause. If you have nothing to cut it, you have to jag your locks and pop. You know. Worse, remember there's somebody with just a locks. She a locks from she a baby. From she born, she have locks. So you would think so only little ploop, pop out, ploop, pop. And I say it work. Now, I mean, know, honestly, I wasn't there. So I am only speaking based on what we are saying. See? Now, the DP, the DPP, play herself to me. Play herself again when she say, them are look now for charge and zinga for multiple charges for resisting arrest and disorderly conduct and um, not wearing a mask. Right? That's what she said, right? Them are look for charge and zinga now, right? Right? I got to show you something now. Why me feel say the DPP has been infiltrated and the DPP is now working off of power and money. That's my allegations. It's alleged. That's, that's my opinion. It's not a fact, okay? I'm not saying she's doing that. I am saying I'm alleging. Good. Just for the legalities, I'm alleging that she's bombarded by power and money. Wanna ready? Wanna ready? Wanna ready to hear this? Are you ready to hear this? That's why I follow my spirit, you know. Sometimes something happens, the, the spirit said to me, I don't speak on it yet. Wait! Then wait. My God, so bam. I may see a news come out. The DPP doesn't see it fit for any one of the minister them. When it under investigation for violating the COVID protocols or there. She not see it fit for them to get charged. More on the list of what I got to say now carefully, you know. She not see it fit for none of the MP them where did a party during lockdown hours and no movement. She not see it fit for none of them get charged. Remember, me, 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 me and Miss Paula Laulu in her, what's her name? Now I have no problem, you know. But me have problem now. Oh, you not see it fit. For none of them get charged. See? When there was a video, visual, this thing. Proper, proper video. Show them a party and time and everything. But, now you are saying Zin Now you are saying Enzinga Will more likely be charged For not wearing a mask This was the first problem in the first place It was she not wearing a mask That caused her to get pepper spray Lock up So that's how locks could have missed in the first place So all you are got caught The MP them The politician them Where enforce this we make the police go pressure one little girl when I wear a mask at a bus stop at her yard. But them in a private setting, I broke the rule, pan video, pan camera, and you now charge them. I 
But they got charge Nzinga. Nzinga what has a taxi stand? Charge a taxi. Charge a bus stop. Since they said they're in their hotel. Charge a bus stop. Charge a taxi. No, add up. Remember, say, is Nzinga not wearing a mask? Cast the police them and are in an argument. Cast the police them for tear gas are. Cast the police them for insist that they are going to lock up that little girl because she never had a mask. Which she could have get a warning and go about her business. Or, them could have said I go buy a mask. And send her about her business. None of that not on camera. So, are the police were against Nzinga world. Nzinga could have said she have a mask and tell lie. And it still would have been a case we have a trash out. The politician them were caught on video. The politician them were caught on video. But you see it fit to so them not get no charge at all. But no, you want to charge Nzinga. You say 3,000 or more for each charge. And she have charged with no mass, resisting arrest. This orderly conduct, one bag of charge, nearly 10. So, uh, how much charge them MP they forget? So, all oh, them money not qualify for getting no charge. But anything about 10 charge she get. <laughs> you still not explain to me how to reach the level for say the police must be charged. Remember conviction different from charge. Listen, charge different from conviction. I now say the police will be convicted because I don't know that I judge that for dealing that. But how can you not charge the police for such an atrocious act? You have to charge the police and make them go court.